Anyway, I thought I'd do an update video today. It's, um, it's actually Friday. Um, uh, filming it on my old phone. And today I'm doing a test at around half past nine a.m. Um, actually, outside I get I've had up to twelve, thirteen, even fifteen satellites. So that's good. Um, but earlier on, I couldn't even get six. So I'm looking at my app as well. And uh, now it, the gusts, the wind gusts are too high. But uh, we've got visible sats 11. Uh, sats locked to 10.3. .3. But my um, actual remote control says we've got uh, 10 satellites, right? Well, that's brilliant. Obviously, I'm not flying the drone right now. Um, the remote control battery is at um, uh, is getting a bit low. The TX and um, RX is the drone, and actually, it's in the kitchen at the moment because I get a better. I can't really get GPS indoors very well. Um, it's it's weird actually because um, <clears throat> if I take the drone outside, which I have to do. Uh, to get an initial um, connection to the um, GPS. Uh, once I get a connection to the GPS, I, I can bring the drone indoors and it seems to maintain the connection. So it's almost as if the actual satellite is actually uh, not able to detect low power from the drone uh, indoors. But once it detects um, a drone outdoors, it it must be sending out more power to com communicate and it must or sort of requesting the drone to probably send out more power to communicate as well something like that's going on anyway because i left it indoors for about what 10 minutes and i wasn't getting any satellites at all it was just it was stuck at zero and but when i actually um took it outside for a couple of minutes and uh, I was freezing my ass up because it's really cold out there. And I really don't want to be flying, to be honest with you, in this when it's cold at the moment, outdoors. Um, it's just not, it's not enjoyable. It's just <laughs> miserable. It's, yeah, it's not exactly the kind of weather I want to be outdoors in. So anyway, I brought it back in and uh, into the kitchen. Um, and now uh, I'm seeing quite a good stable uh, satellite. Uh, reading today uh, as you can see it jumping between uh, 9 and 10 11 12 it's it's pretty good really um, it's a shame really but I, I would like to fly it outside but as I say the winds it's quite windy um, with me being on a peninsula type area um, with a castle headland which is um, where I'm at, it, it tends to get wind from different, well, three different directions. Um, but if you're inland, you, you're more sheltered a little bit. <coughs> mm. So, all I'm doing at the moment is just uh, recording uh, the video to give you a rough idea of what uh, satellites how stable they are and as you can see um, where I am it's uh, it's quite erratic it's it's not consistent um, you know I wouldn't feel confident flying at the moment in, in any case because the, the satellites are dropping and dropping out all the time and that's not gonna that's not gonna be good because um, it just so in the instruction manual um, oh yeah I printed out and I printed uh, I enlarged the manual um, and I printed out a, a full A4 size uh, of each page so I won't bore you with that at the moment I did try to record it earlier to make a video on that but I went and got the orientation wrong and it was yeah I just gave up I just decided to delete it 
So I didn't bother uploading that. I just deleted it because, yeah, it looked all weird. Yeah, it was. It wasn't horizontal, um, wide angle. It was, yeah, tall and skinny. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't bother uploading that. Anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, as you can see, uh, the uh, UAV forecast is telling me it's not good to fly anywhere. So, yeah. Oh, look, 13. <laughs> We've got 13 satellites now. Ah, uh, well, not for long. It keeps up and down as to. Yeah, it's very unwrapped. It's very unstable at the moment. It must be time of year. But, um. So, yeah, um. I'm just waffling now. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll just cut it short at about six minutes of uh, this video. I just, just wanted to give you a rough idea. Um. And the the manual came out really good, a lot better. I can read it now. The actual printed out in A4 sheets now, so I was able to read some of that stuff I couldn't read before, and um, it's quite helpful to read through. And I have to say I do like this drone. Um, it is a very good stable drone when you've got good um, satellite connectivity. And also, even indoors, if you get it level and calibrate it properly, it's it's uh, it's a good drone. But um, I just don't want to take chances with it. I mean, I I, I haven't finished paying for it yet. I'm paying in three installments to pay through PayPal. I actually made a mistake previously when I was talking about this on uh, YouTube. <laughs> I actually said I wish YouTube would. Um, make it easier to pay, uh, easier to pay in three installments. I was actually talking about PayPal, <laughs> so yeah, I got that wrong. Uh, I just yeah, I don't know what I'm there. I just got my work. I got my uh, my thought process got jumbled up a bit. But uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, uh, when I talk about payments and that, I use I use PayPal. That's the only thing I use really for stuff online. So yeah. Um, Anyway, I've been waffling more than six minutes now. I'm nearly at eight, almost up to eight minutes. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I do recommend this um, GD95 drone. Yeah, as long as you can read the manual and follow the instructions properly and just don't screw it up by um, plugging in the... Um, obstacle avoidance module while it's switched on you've got to make sure you turn it off before you do that also when you unplug it you've got to make sure it's turned off thanks for watching see you later bye